Hi everyone, very welcome to the Ravid Show. Super excited to be here at the possible event by Teradata. Uh, I'm here with Sumit Arora, who's the CPO at Teradata. Sumit, welcome to the Ravid Show. Such a pleasure to chat with you today. Oh, thank you, uh, Ravid. Uh, it's great to be here. Yes. I'm excited. And uh, I know it's your debut on the Ravid Show. So just for our audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself, tell us more about what you do at Teradata and What's happening at Possible here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Possible is Teradata's annual conference. We are here together. And I actually joined Teradata about five months ago as nice. the chief product officer. So engineering, product management, product marketing, what I do, but yes. uh, essentially. But I have had a, a long career in technology, three decades, across nice. networking, wow. across data and analytics. So excited to be here today. Fantastic, uh, excited to chat with you about various things, data, AI, much more. There's a lot happening in this space. I'm kind of curious to know from you about the space itself. How is it moving? What are you most excited about? Uh, and if you can share some thoughts around that. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, uh, this is a time of profound change, mm -hmm. obviously. And that's not new. I mean, AI is, it's like an, in, it's, it's the intelligence revolution that is sweeping all industries. And uh, what that means is, uh, you know, when, when, when I was in networking, the, the, it was the evolution to the connected enterprise. Yep. Then we did the digital enterprise where all the connected entities in a value chain were uh, reporting telemetry. Yep. And we were analyzing all that data. We were improving the value chain using the analytics. But now it's the advent of the autonomous enterprise with autonomous business process. Exactly. Which Essentially, Ravid, what that means is people are using AI reasoning to improve the value chain and deliver even more uh, better experience to their end customers. That's so that's that's the fundamental change. Oh, that's uh, amazing, and thanks for sharing those uh, very uh, interesting insights around that. Uh, I'm kind of also wanting to know a little bit about the trends. In, because you talk to a lot of customers, you've been you know very much involved in the product as well. Uh, what what sort of trends are you seeing in this space right now that are picking up? Uh, and we'll talk about the future a little later, but just at this moment, what do you think about the trends? Yeah, Ravit, obviously the industry talk is on AI. Yep. yep. And there is the AI imperative, which is essentially that I need to leverage AI to deliver a, a better a company, a better outcome for my customers. Right. Uh, but, uh, so there is that imperative that, hey, I need to do it now, I need to do it, do it at speed because otherwise I'll be left behind. That is what I hear from customers. But at the same time, there is also the fact that AI itself is evolving fast, it's improving mm -hmm. fast, and the question is how do we actually go from demo and demonst you know experimentation to real deployment at yep, scale, yep. real value, real value to the pocketbooks and the economics and the value. Uh, I mean the the experience of our customers. So, so that's true. the that's the conversation. Yeah. That's, that's uh, where we are. And since Sumit, you talk to a lot of customers as well. What are you hearing from enterprise leaders when it comes to you know the AI projects? So, uh, because we've seen the reports from MIT, McKinsey, uh, and we've seen so much around you know projects being stuck at the pilot stage itself. But how are you seeing that changing um, for the enterprise world? And how is Teradata also helping them. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, this uh, Teradata's approach to AI is, we call it the AI with ROI. So essentially, like we build use case backwards. Mm. We start with the customer use case. The use case has clear, measurable outcomes uh, that, that uh, can be proven. Yep. And then you work backwards from that. We have built, what we are absolutely finding out is that it's not just you build a product and you get success. You actually build a product, you build the forward deployed engineering, you build services and consulting around it, you include the customer's engineers, customer's uh, team as part of the whole uh, project, and you work to, uh, together to deliver that use case with those metrics yep. for success clearly identified. So that is the approach uh, we have taken. Um, and then even the product building, while the product building is uh, uh, definitely repeatable, reusable components. Mm -hmm. They are built to serve those use cases. So this is the approach we are taking to doing, and, and it's, 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 it's absolutely something our, that resonates with our customers. Yeah, with ROI. I like it because I think that is something what I hear from a lot of enterprise leaders myself too. Uh, the one thing that they care most about is 
okay, we are investing, but what's the ROI? Yeah. And if someone can clearly define that, they just feel more confident about it. Talking about use cases, uh, do you have any use case on top of your mind that you can share with our audience as well uh, from any particular industry? Because you work with like so many different enterprises, so many different industries. Yeah, let me speak to that from a Teradata platform uh, perspective. Yes, so first love thing, that. first thing for any use AI use case to succeed, uh, it needs uh, trusted data, trusted knowledge. True. And so Teradata has four decades of experience delivering ROI from trusted data. So we bring that same expertise to any use case, which is hey is your data, is your unstructured information, we call it knowledge now, which mm. is like the 360 view of what AI needs, what a human would need to make decision, we have to give the same to AI. So right? true. So this 360, we want to make sure that this knowledge is trusted knowledge. That is uh, you know, recipe number one for the use case. And then we kind of build the use case on top of that with leveraging agentic technology. And we, a couple of weeks ago, we just announced our own agent builder. Nice. And uh, it's backed by our own MCP server, but it means people can build agents elsewhere as well. Now, mm -hmm. uh, you asked about specific use cases. Uh, there's one thing that I want to uh, really highlight. Uh, we are seeing uh, use cases like anti-money money laundering or use cases in customer intelligence. Nice. Uh, where we can deliver a better customer experience to, uh, our customers can deliver a better customer experience to okay. there. Nice. And these use cases are really, really coming through. Mm -hmm. and Ravit, if I may point out one more thing. Yeah, please. Small is beautiful. So everybody talks about large language models, uh, which are beautiful, which are amazing, but even small language models that are tuned to a task, let's say I'm going to look for your email, look at your emails and validate it against compliance, for example. Hmm. These small language models uh, work in database inside of Teradata, and nice. they deliver a very, very efficient solution for AI. I think it's powerful as well when you have like targeted uh, data to look at and it's even faster as well and co cost efficient. Cost though. efficient, low latency. Yep. And uh, so use the right thing for the, like we call it fit for purpose. Fit for purpose. Yeah. Per perfect. Um, one more quick question around the roadmap. Uh, uh, and now we can talk a little bit about the future as well. You can give me a Teradata perspective too. Uh, how do you see the space evolving in the next maybe six to eight months? What is on the roadmap for Teradata as well? Yeah, I think if you take a step back, yep. um, there is a big transition happening with the enterprise tech stack itself, right? right. Your, your traditional three-tier application with user interface, business logic, database, all locked inside each app. That's mm -hmm. your traditional architecture. And the user interface, the way human and technology work together was more a workflow-centric approach. But what's uh, emerging now is a new tech stack, which is you have the knowledge layer, and te think of ter Teradata as an emerging knowledge platform yep. that works well with ecosystem partners in the knowledge fabric. And then you have the AI platform uh, uh, from Teradata that gives you the agent layer which is again an ecosystem of agents that are working together, harnessing the knowledge. Yes. And then you have like an interface with technology that is very outcome centric, not workflow centric. So mm. think of Teradata's roadmap evolving along this broad evolution of uh, enterprise stack, kind of supporting the autonomous enterprise. Love it, uh, this is fantastic. Uh, Sumit, uh, one last question for you. And that is about if folks want to reach out to you, uh, talk to you, and also learn about you know the product more, where can they do that? I think website for the product in maybe LinkedIn for you, but I'll let you do. Wow, I was not expecting that question, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, at large, I think uh, LinkedIn is a great place. Uh, you know, we obviously they can reach out to uh, Teradata's resources. Yes. Available, our uh, press team, our uh, analyst team. We have a variety of ways in which we engage the community. Yep. And they can, uh, you know, obviously ping me uh, via LinkedIn. So I, I'll, by the way, the world is moving so fast, Ravit, that what you just asked is important, which is we are living and breathing and learning from each other. So this is important. 
Yes, thank you very much, Sumit. Uh, such a pleasure chatting with you on the Rabbit Show, and I'm excited for what's gonna happen at Possible. You all are making some great announcements, so looking forward to that. Uh, we'll keep the conversation going, but once again, thanks for visiting the Rabbit Show. Absolutely, Ravi. It's been an honor, and I just want you to know, Possible is super oversubscribed, so I'm really excited yes. about that. Thank Same you. Same here. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.